It was 2020 and Dr. Erin Bodansky kept seeing a high number of children coming into the ICU with a mysterious inflammatory disease. They had severe inflammation of all of their bodies, but in particular, their lungs and really their hearts. Turns out this was happening to children across the world, and no one knew why. The illness came to be known as multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, or MIS-C. The only thing we knew was that they had previously had a SARS-CoV-2 infection. As cases intensified, doctors suspected the severe inflammation was connected to the immune system. To keep children alive, medical personnel acted on that hunch. We used medicines to suppress and calm their immune system, which thankfully worked extremely well to save their lives. Dr. Budansky remembers reaching a breaking point after seeing one of his patients. And we had to put a breathing tube in and put on medicines to essentially induce a coma. It was really hard to look the parents in the eyes and just tell them that we had no idea what was happening, and I didn't want to have to keep doing that. After this, he contacted some of the top infectious diseases experts and scientists in the area, the pivotal figure, Dr. Joe DeLisi. Together, they collaborated with the CDC and hospitals across the country to collect nearly 200 blood samples. This has been a puzzle that researchers and clinicians across the country, and in fact across the world, have tried to figure out, and yet it has eluded almost everyone until now. After years in this lab, they cracked the case. So the aha moment was realizing that that unusual reaction to COVID matched something in our own immune system. So it, it acquired a target against COVID that matched us. So it was attacking both at the same time. Now they're hoping to use their findings to advance science. Knowing that a virus can provoke an autoimmune reaction later on and having this proof allows us to potentially develop therapeutics and diagnostics for anything like this that might occur in the future. Now these scientists are hopeful this finding will help understand other diseases including type 1 diabetes or MS that we know are linked to viruses. Luz Peña, ABC7 News.